Hi everybody, welcome back to some more Busyness Adventures Kingdom. And where we left off, we left off with a good old fashioned zombie battle. All our gnomes are busy working away. Now we're building that castle over there, but all their sleeping quarters are still going to be here, so what we might have to do is like dig a passageway up underneath, which will probably be around here somewhere, I think, so. That way they can still get down to here, which will be good. <coughs> Let's head down further into the depths. We've got our mushrooms. And Oop. let's save. There we go. Back speed it back up again. There we go. And down into the guts. And Oop. what happened there? Murder Hill. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. That's not very nice. That's going to take a while to build, I think. Speed it back up again. Stop it. Quit it. I know. Yes, mants everywhere. Oh my gosh, mants. We're not fighting any mants. Thank you. Not today. No, sir. Stop it. Me no care, no care about mants. Still haven't put any of these torches down though. It's a bit of a. Ugh. Nobody cares. Go away. I might as well just stay up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My gosh, a man! Oh wait, it's the same man that I spotted last time. Maybe. Maybe there is just that many mans there. Maybe there is. Well, there is a fair few mans. That's for sure. The bear has been... has died. Some bear died somewhere. A goblin has bled to death. Is that happening over here? Let's have a look. Oh yeah. Ooh, look at him. He's got a big hammer. Ooh, he's got a shield. Nice. I don't think we've got any problem with food or drink at the moment. Ooh, the drinks... Going down a little bit, but I think we're okay. Luckily we've... See, I don't get that. These torches went up real fast. Oh. That other stuff sometimes takes a little while to build. And I've said it once, I'll say it again. I would really like... Let's go listen to the wood chop. Ooh. Yeah, no, that's not. We'll go over here. Um, I'd really like a build queue that I could see what and move things up and down in the build queue. That's that's that is my my wish. Because I think that would be good to be able to move things around and like decide on what gets built when, sort of thing. Ooh, I can put a torch down here. Yay! Finest pine torches in the land. Of course I'm going to put a torch there. In fact, I think I built so many torches. There we go. It's slowly happening. I wonder which one of these beds... 
was the doom of the zombies. One of these beds. We could find out by checking the blood. The blood smattered, splattered beds of my gnomes. There we go. In fact, most of these, the soldiers' beds would probably have blood and hair and goblin and zombie all through it, so... Lovely, lovely thing that is. Let's turn this around. There we go. Check our stock. We got mainly the weapons we want to see. Oh, actually, that, that's probably not going to change too much, but the armor. Got plenty of these greaves and pauldrons and stuff. Helmets, five bronze helmets. We got five bronze helmets. Hand axes. Yeah. Oh, hang on, take that off. There we go. One coppers, five bronze breastplates, lots of leather gear. Okay. I think there's one way to find out if everybody's got gear, and that's to go and find Chum. See if Chum's got stuff, then everybody else has got stuff. Where is Chum? Here's Chum. Let's follow Chum around. Still got nothing. And he's sleeping. Okay, whatever. You guys have to make some more armor, gee whiz. Breastplates, five. I wonder if it counts it if it's... Let's up this to ten. So hopefully they don't make any more of these things that I've got tons of. Well, they shouldn't, because it's make two. Bronze armor plates repeat. Let's move that down, shall we? There we go. See how that works. Oh, we got another one here. Let's get rid of that train. Replace floor with a decorative block of granite. There we go. Done. Sorted. Fixed. Oh, we can put two more beds here. Build me a bed. Oop. We have beautiful, beautiful pine beds in this land. There we go. Build a bed. There we go. Lovely. Be someone's new home. In fact, we can designate this area as a personal quarters. Vacant. Yep. Yeah. going on though is building a bed. There we go. Oop. Can't do that yet. Still got some spaces there. Uh, let's... What's going on here? Oh, no. I can't put anything in there yet. Okay. Cool. Okay. Check out here. Oop. Started working on the inside there. That's nice. How are we doing on the upside here? It's coming. Once we've got the floor there, then we can put the next wall down, so that'll be good. Nobody's replaced any... Oh, they're replacing some of it. They're getting there. They're moving along slowly, slowly. We are on the 11th day. We might take it to the first day of spring, see if we get any more nomads. And, uh... Hopefully they don't pop up here. Well, actually, they could pop up here. Here would be fine. Even up here would be okay at the moment. Just not on this. These two landings here would be really bad. And 
Oh, everybody's died in there, that's nice. Here would not be good. There would be a very bad place to pop out. I think we need to get up there, actually. Let's, uh, build... What time is it? 19... Ooh, okay, actually, that's not... I can't see anything, it's dark. We will wait till the morning of the next day, and then we will venture up here and get all this nice armor. All this steel, uh, worn steel armor we can turn into slithers. I saw someone else working with Dinah. Blacksmith. Oh, I do. I have Redo. 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 Cog slacks off. He does re redo does Cog's work and Dinah does her own work. She's just a boss. There we go. She is the boss. Nobody works harder than Dinah. In fact, let's check Dinah's stats while we while we're messing about skills. She's got to have pretty good skills by now. Come on. Destruction hauling. No, not really. I thought her blacksmithing and stuff would be like... Uh, smelting's 29. Um, 19. I suppose I haven't done that much. Not as much as, say, like... The bread guy. Or... Well, not even the bread guy. Like, maybe not... Not as much... Armor making and weapon making and stuff as much as maybe... I don't know. The guy who cuts the planks. The guy who cuts the planks is probably a devil of plank cutting or the farmers with their weediness. They do lots of wheat. There is no end to the wheat. Very good. I don't know why we put zombies in there. I personally wouldn't eat zombie. That just wouldn't sit right with me at all. Pretty sure I asked to. Oh, there's a sack there. Taylor, what are you doing? Cotton bags, eh? They're there. Now, supposedly I'm doing that wrong, but. I'm a little confused. So. Seems that all our crates are full of bandages, which is the main thing. Except for that one. And that one. Maybe I'm not making enough. I think what they were saying was that it's increments leading up to the number you want. Is that right? So, cotton bandages, 50, then 100, then... a 150, sort of thing. See if that... I'm sure they'll let me know. So, I wanted 256, I think, though. So that would have to be 50... No idea. We'll just leave it at that. Which means I'm going to have to put more in there. So maybe this one can be... See if that's what they were meant. Maybe. String seems to be only one string. Padding, 50. All mattresses, two. It's all bandages, pretty much. <coughs> okay. I think that's what they meant. So, 
they get to the first milestone that says build 50 to 50 bandages so he builds to 50 bandages and he goes okay I have 50 bandages now so I can move on then he goes to the cotton string and he goes build his cotton string to 10 and then he moves down the thing and he goes hey hang on I actually needed a hundred cotton bandages so he builds another 50 then he builds his cotton padding to 50 then he goes oh now you're telling me you want 150 bandages make up your mind Chuck and he makes another 50 then he makes two mattresses and goes you mongrel I have to build another 106 bloody bandages and then he does that and then he starts again if he doesn't have anything else going on which he does I guess that's maybe what they meant in the comments anyway I'm sure somebody will let me know in the comments if I'm m misunderstanding how that works that's probably the main thing anyway it's kind of important that we have Bandages, market store, what's in there? Wheat seeds, cotton seeds, strawberry seeds, mushroom seeds, wheat seeds, strawberry seeds. Okay, good for you. Good for you, Chuck. Make sure everybody's got food. They do. And they're eating any seed. What seeds have we got? We have got tons of wheat seeds. Let's start giving them. Oh, no, we'll just leave it at any seed. It's okay. How's our alpacas doing? Oh, they got food. Good, good, good. And so do the yaks. Good. Good to see. Very good. Drinks not going too badly. Food is going awesomely. In fact, let's check the... Ooh, look at the blood everywhere in there. Wow. Hang on. Why is there a bear there? Military. Enemies. I don't know how he got there. Don't know. Send in the mighty prankers of Severe. Mess that bear up. There we go. The bear has died. I don't know, how the hell did he get there? Whose blood is this? Goblin blood. Whose blood is this? Bear blood. How did he get down there? Did he get knocked off? Maybe he got knocked off. have been spotted. That's a bit worrying. Maybe he, got, he was in a fight with a goblin and the goblin knocked him down. It's possible. It's possible. Ooh, a two-headed ogre has it. I think that's my first two-headed ogre. Two-headed ogre. Look at you. Bold as brass. Two-headed ogre is in good health. Nice to know. Eh, I reckon Twa could win. You're not that tough. I think he'd box your ears in. Fighting is 36. Twa's fighting is 77. And he's fitter than you, too. There you go. Snip, snip, snip. Oh, they're getting clippings. How nice. Um, what was I doing? Oh, I was... The goblin has bled to death. Good. Couldn't happen to a nicer goblin. I think the sandwiches kitchen is probably the same mess as the... Oh, no, I just got repeat sandwiches. And repeat mushroom omelettes. And that seems to be working okay. Really? Every crate is full of food. Amazing. It truly is amazing. It's alright, we're going to have a much bigger kitchen in our new place, don't worry. It's getting a total overhaul. 
let's let's have a run through of how we're going to go about this. So, if you were a gnome, as gnomes do, you would come into your gnome fortress, and you would be greeted by your giant gnome great hall. Then you will have your kitchen on the side, and from the kitchen will come the store rooms of the food and wine, so that it's all easily accessible for the person making all the stuff. And of course the giant room. Then we'll go up a level and we'll have... I don't know, stuff. I haven't got that far yet. But um, I want to... maybe the farmers will have their own little house outside, made of wood. Same with the wood carvers. They will have their own thing of wood, made of wood. We might actually bring all the weapons and stuff indoors. Although, or we could just like renovate this mountain and turn it into a decent kind of um, place. Anyway, I think I have jabbered on enough this episode. Not much has happened. I'm sorry if it's any consolation, an alpaca was born. But, um, for me, I am going to head off next episode, we'll at least get some, um, uh, maybe we might get some new nomads, which would be cool. And we will ransack this hill, since there's nothing there, so we can get away with it. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Likes and comments are appreciated. Um, welcome all the new subscribers, and I'll see you next time. Alright, bye-bye, cheerio, see ya.